Hey, I'm back uh, again. I got one more little cheater trick here to show you guys. This is my shotting bucket. You know, you got the extra metal that's melted and you didn't get it into your crucible. Um, you want to clean it, you know, get it melted, and then you get a bucket, five gallon or deeper if you can find it, and you want to have a piece of stainless steel preferably. I found this at the uh, thrift shop for a buck. It's a <laughs> perfect fit. Um, but you can use an old stainless steel pan and cut the handle off. A lot of different ways you can do it. But you want something that the metal is not going to be able to um, adhere to and or go through. And then you put this at the bottom of the bucket. You want the water to be um, so it feels warm, just a little bit cooler than you would uh, bathe in, but definitely hotter than room temperature when you cast, or when you um, shot, sorry. And you want to have the water up uh, as deep as you can get away with without, you know, making a mess. Um, so this is too low right now. You'd want to have it about here for shotting. And then you want to pour the metal in just barely above the melting temperature, um, slowly and carefully and very, very carefully. In fact, don't even do this because I don't want to be liable when you hurt yourself, but I've had pretty good results with it. And um, just some of the shot to show you. It doesn't make tiny, perfect shot, but it makes thin wafers that um, get pretty clean when they come out, and then pretty easy to pickle. Pieces that size, you can, you know, pickle them up, and uh, you have, you can see I've shot at a lot of metal recently. Clean it up real nice because it's all shot and thin, and get a lot of the um, crud out of it so you can reuse your metal. And instead of spending, you know, all the money to get it refined, or, uh, you know, buying a $30,000 shotting machine or whatever, I don't know how much it costs, 3000 30000 whatever. I got a $5 bucket and a dollar piece of steel and tap water. Also, when you're pouring the um, metal, if you have a 10 gallon per hour aquarium pump, you can put it in this clean, and put it in the bottom to the side, out of the path of the metal, and have it circulate the water. If not, you know, do it how I do it. You just go like this a bit, and then pour the metal in. That kind of helps, I don't know, that's what I was told to do by my um, my coach. But it does seem like it shots out a little bit better when the water is moving and when the water is warm than when the water is cold. Cold creates bigger chunks for whatever reason. So that's what I did. And um, make sure that, that you have something in the bottom that will stop the metal or you will have a fire. Uh, you do not want molten metal going in your floor. Like I said, let's review. $5 bucket, $1 piece of stainless steel. You can get something at the uh, Salvation Army. That's how I did it. And then um, pour it just above melting temperature. You don't want the metal super hot when you're pouring it, or you get a um, you can get a very volatile reaction with the water hit, uh, with the metal hitting the water. Okay, that's it. I hope this helps.